Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Can Trump bring millennials into the GOP? By Byron Meyer. No polling was more wrong last November than those predicting how millennials would vote. More than 2 million more millennials voted for President Trump than was forecast by millennial polling averages. He polled at 25% among people under 30, but won 37% of this demographic. That's a higher percentage than the Republican nominees in 2012 or 2008. Despite this, however, 37% is still only 37%. With protests flaring up across the country and more young people taking to social media, Trump and the Republican Party have to wonder about their future. In 2016, millennials overtook all other generations as the biggest voting bloc in the nation. Will young citizens get more conservative as they age? Can Trump help bring more young voters into the GOP? Or will young people be scared away from the party by Trump's controversial style? Thought leaders and the most successful activists and organizers on the right aren't sure what to expect in the next four years. Bright future, or challenges ahead? Elected in 2015 at age 19 in the swing state of New Hampshire, State Representative Yvonne Dean Bailey is among the country's youngest elected leaders, and she's optimistic about Trump's chances to grow the movement. The future is bright for young conservatives and libertarians under President Trump's administration. Through his populist and common-sense message, President Trump has grown and mobilized the young conservative movement, Dean Bailey said. I believe we will see these new young conservatives become involved as activists, conservative bloggers and, hopefully, even candidates for office. Will Estrada, a Latino millennial and chairman of the Lowtown County Republican Committee, also sees opportunity. Millennial conservatives now have the chance to shape policy in Congress, the White House and the federal agencies, something that wouldn't have been possible had Hillary Clinton won the presidency. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.